New this morning, the famous Be Someone sign painted on I-45 and I-10 intersection has been replaced yet again. This was the scene overnight as a group painted Save Our Children. Back at 655 with a live look from Sky 2 near downtown Houston. Back on a bridge near downtown. It's had several reincarnations since it was originally painted back in 2012. Turns holding each other's feet to make sure they didn't fall over the overpass. Right, but as you can see, today it's gone. Black paint covering it up. Should the Be Someone sign be deemed a landmark? Uh, yes. There it is. And last night, the Be Someone group graffiti mural turned into a light show. Vandalized again, but it always makes a comeback. Striking teal breaks a monotonous sea of grays on a Union Pacific Bridge on I-45 South. Be Someone greets and goodbyes thousands of commuters every day. The graffiti has cemented itself as iconic imagery for the city, becoming a staple of Houston culture. The art has grown immensely in its decade of life, eclipsing itself and becoming a hotspot for messaging of all kinds. A funny thing about the bridge that the Be Someone sign sits on top of is that a train runs through it. An unusual thing about the bridge is that the train is rarely seen, so rare that you might begin to doubt that a train even runs through it anymore. A glance at the Union Pacific train station reveals a dilapidated building, seemingly empty. The outside walls are covered with graffiti, some parts are boarded up, and the roof is riddled with holes. These past few years have been a roller coaster for the sign. We'll touch on some of the changes we felt were the most significant and important to the city and its people. Be Someone, 2013 to present. With its prime location and inspirational message, it's easy to see why Be Someone is so beloved. Its inspiring but broad message resonates with so many different people in different ways. It's a call to action for readers, a literal sign to better themselves, chase their dreams, and have an impact. It has been painted over or straight up removed countless times, yet always comes back. And earlier this year, the self-proclaimed painters said they would no longer be maintaining the sign, but it appeared shortly afterwards, first in basic white, but later in its original iconic teal, illustrating just how important the graffiti is to Houstonia. It now says, vote or die, at just under a month. From my perspective of, you know, starting vote or die, Apparently you haven't heard of my Vote or Die campaign. Vote or Die, September 2020. Written in response to growing tensions leading up to the 2020 presidential election, Vote or Die urged Houstonians to head to the ballot box and make their voices heard. Following the turmoil of the 2016 election, the writer felt it important to communicate the risks they felt many faced if Houstonians didn't get out there and vote. Hours before a curfew was ordered, the city became a war zone. After attempting to breach television studios, large groups torched police cruisers as officers fired back with rubber bullets. George Floyd, June 2020. George Floyd was murdered in Minnesota in May 2020. He was originally from Houston, and many in the city were heartbroken and outraged to learn that yet another African-American man lost his life at the hands of police brutality. The sign was changed in solidarity as massive protests and marches swept the city at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement. Hashtag Save Our Children. This change may have been due to the rise in popularity of the alt-right QAnon conspiracy theory that alleges many government officials are members of the cabal, a secretive group of elite individuals who traffic children. The otherwise generic hashtag was taken over by QAnon believers in the hopes of gaining supporters and publicity. Wash your hands, March 2020, COVID-1984, March 2021. Wash your hands appeared shortly after much of Houston started serious restrictions and lockdowns due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. The need to stress the severity the virus posed to our public health and safety, as well as the importance of the little things individuals can do to protect themselves and others can be felt while reading the simple phrase, wash your hands. A year later, COVID-1984 showed up on the bridge at the time, there was much discourse on the threat COVID posed and the proper response, and after a year of lockdown, many communities were fed up. Due to this sentiment, the phrase COVID-1984 blew up as an anti-COVID restriction slogan. No war, no peace. February 2022. Another barrage before dawn. Ukrainian anti-aircraft batteries intercepting a Russian missile the Russo-Ukrainian war initiated in February of this year, with Russia invading Ukraine with a series of airstrikes. 
Many Houstonians and the rest of the nation express their support to the people of Ukraine, as many consider Russia's invasion as inhumane. Therefore, the phrase, no war, no peace, made its appearance on the infamous bridge as a sign of solidarity. Our hearts and minds are with the people of Ukraine at this time. With all this in mind, not only is the Be Someone sign used for Estonians to voice their opinion, but at times can be used for a good laugh. Be Sus, November 2019. A possible humorous reference to the viral video game Among Us, where the term sus blew up in popularity. Oh, well, I don't know, man. Been seeming sus lately. As a shorter version of the word suspicious. Be Sus offers a quick laugh to commuters as they drive down I 45. Elote or Die 2020. This mantra was written for a short while in response to the vote or die phrase we spoke of earlier. As to the meaning, we can only assume someone is simply trying to hype up their favorite snack, with elote being the name of a popular Mexican street food. As of the recording of this video, the original Be Someone phrase is back on the bridge above I-45 South in its iconic teal color. How long the phrase will stay is hard to guess, but for the time being, Houstonians are just a bit more inspired while making their daily commute.